We are filming from a different angle today for several reasons. One, I'm in a brand new a Renault Master pickup. It's nice actually. Nothing else to say about it apart from that. Two, I'm using a different bracket. And three, I'm currently sat in a traffic jam because the M5 shut between Junction 13 and Junction 12. Um, and then they've just said on the radio that in deep joy, it's also shut at Portishead. Um, so <coughs> the chances of me getting home tonight are very small indeed. Meanwhile, on the diversion route, which is crawling along at snail's pace, you'd think it'd be all right, but no. And why? There's a gypsy caravan coming the other way being towed by a horse. Well, there's two caravans and several horses, actually. Hang on. Look. Look at that. Not something you see every day, is it? I think he put a curse on me when he put his thumb up. Because my camera stopped working. And it's only just started working again now. Who would have thought it? What a powerful curse that was from the gypsy. Um, anyway. I am now stuck in another traffic jam. I have moved on from Gloucester all the way to Bristol. And now I'm still stuck on the M5, but in a different traffic jam. Which leads me on to my subject of today. Geofencing. Who knew such a thing existed? I've had to do my own work, but it's exactly what I thought it would be. Um, so anyway, certain car manufacturers at the moment, Ford, BMW, Volkswagen and Volvo have introduced geofencing into their hybrid vehicles. Now, geofencing is nothing to do with traveling around Dartmoor looking for letterboxes and everything to do with total control. Basically, what it does is it works out when you're in a congestion zone and turns your car onto electric only. So if you're driving a hybrid or a polished turd, it turns the petrol off and only turns the electric on, which is all very well if you've got a self-charging hybrid, because you'll be all right. But if you've got a plug-in hybrid and you've got no power in it because it hasn't charged itself up, I don't know what happens then. I presume it'll go back to petrol, but if it stays on electric, you're screwed. So, the way it does this is with GPS tracking. So your car is constantly tracked. It monitors it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It knows exactly where you are on the road. And therefore, it can then cut you in and out of electric mode so that when you're in a congestion zone, you only use the electric. You don't use the petrol, cleaner air, etc., etc. Now that bit makes sense, doesn't it? I ain't got an issue with that. There's no problem with that whatsoever. However, it's not going to stop there, is it? Because they've already said that they can use the same technology to stop people driving outside of borders. Now, those borders can be determined by anything. You can put in any parameters you want. You live in Stoke-on-Trent, it'll stop you driving in Newcastle under Lyme. I've just been there today, is what made me think of that. Um, so the geofencing is not about saving the planet at all. It never was. None of this is about saving the planet. It's about having total control over you in your vehicle. Now, if they're putting this in polished turds, you'd automatically assume this is going into every single milk float. Probably just there as a sleeping CPU for now, ready to be activated when the time comes, because they don't need to go into electric mode because they only exist in electric mode. But, so that's every milk float and every hybrid, geofenced. So therefore, they have said, Ford have said this in a, in a I've Googled this, Ford have said it and BMW have said it, geofencing gives us the ability to turn cars off where necessary. Well, there you go. So, we don't want you to leave your 15 minute city today. 
Boop. There you go, Mr. Jones, you're stuck on your driveway. You can go around your 15 minute city, in and out your traffic barriers, and you know, you can do whatever you need to do within your little bubble that you're allowed to stay in. You stray out of that, your car's gonna stop working. I mean, it's not like people like me haven't been saying this is coming. This is what COVID was all about. But the way they're doing it, as usual, is under the cloak of climate change because everything revolves around the cloak of climate change. And uh, as long as you put that in and you say you're doing it for you, Les, and clean air and everything else, funny enough, right over there, right now, is Bristol, which is now a clean air zone. My mate has got something in lost property in Temple Mead Station. Asked me to go and get it. Sorry, I can't. I'm in a diesel. There you go. Kept me out of the city, innit? So I suppose it served its purpose. So there you go. You have geofencing now being brought in to hybrids, polished turds, and milk floats. So all the new cars that eventually will be all the cars. So all the cars will have geofencing built in. So whether you want to go anywhere or not, you can only go where the government say you can go. See, is it all starting to fall into place? For most of you, it probably already has fallen into place, hasn't it? But uh, it's just another little step. Next thing, <coughs> they're going to geofence your smart meter that runs your electric and your gas. Oh no, you've used too much electric this week, Mr. Smith. Bing! Switch you off for a bit. It's all there, ready and waiting, isn't it? All this technology is being brought in through the back door and then eventually you can just go and turn the tap off and everyone will just sleepwalk into it i would imagine there's people driving toyota priuses now going oh isn't geofencing marvelous yes it's marvelous isn't it because i can drive into the city and it'll automatically move me into move you into a 15 minute city with barriers everywhere where you can't go anywhere and if you want to go out you've got to We'll move on to that. That's another. That's the thing for another day, the 15-minute city, because um, I need to check all the stuff on Oxford for that. But it looks like you're only allowed to leave 100 times a year, and if you try and leave your 15-minute city any more than that, it's going to cost you 100 quid a time. Need to do more research on that. But still, there you go. There's a cheery Monday morning for you. Nice bit of AI being chucked into every milk float and polished turd to stop you going anywhere on the pretense that it'll save the planet which it won't do that either because no milk float's ever going to do that because they've already screwed the planet up to build it in the first place oh and here i am still stuck in traffic still 130 miles from dropping off and then another hour and a half train journey and then i still might not be home after that so i've got all that to look forward to oh it's train strikes again today too there you go. Everything glues together, doesn't it? Another thing to stop people moving. So there's train strikes, right? And I got on a train at Worcester Parkway. And because there were train strikes, there were less trains running. Now, the logic would say that if there are less trains running, you need to make those trains bigger to accommodate all the people that would be on the other trains that aren't on the other trains and are on this train instead. Ah. This is 2024 and this is Britain. So the train that turned up only had two carriages. I mean, it's just genius, isn't it? So it was uh, like catching the Bangladesh Express again. And uh, I had a lovely little uh, two foot by one foot space that my feet fitted in, my belly didn't, but you know, <coughs> people just had to work around that. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, another example of stopping people moving about. And now I'm actually moving about with freedom in my diesel vehicle, except I can't because the motorways are shut in both directions at two different places on a Monday afternoon. It's just amazing, isn't it? There you go. Cheery video for you today. Anyway, Audi Q3 tomorrow. Something to look forward to, isn't it?
Um, it's like the Audi Q4, but it's got a proper engine in it. So I'm looking forward to that. Right, future my horse.